Thank you, Simon. So our first guest is an Oscar-nominated actress whose breakout role in the movie Precious redefined what it means to be a Hollywood hit girl. Now she's keeping up with uh, keeping us entertained with her hit show called on Showtime called The Big C. Take a look. Look, Mr. J, I got you a secret weapon. Is it for the baby? That's so nice. No, it's for you. It's a compression t-shirt. It's like man's makes. Guaranteed to make you look thinner and put the lean back in your meat. I can't control an afro. Uh, I need it to swing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just need it to. I can't do nothing with no afro. Are, are you a long or a short? You're... I'm definitely a, a long. I'm a long too. I mean, it's nice to visit a short, but I'm a long. Yeah. Do you know? So your character on The Big Seek, Gabby's character, came back from Africa, and she uh, brought it brought her back to her roots. For real. That's why the afro and the whole bit. Exactly. And she changes her name to a babu. A babu. <laughs> <laughs> is it true that, that you are part African? Because I didn't realize that. Absolutely. I'm um, Senegalese. My father's Senegalese. Uh, my mom's Like Senegalese. Akon. Yeah, exactly. And so my mom's just uh, African American, so I'm black and blacker. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go through that thing at one point in your life where you wanted to embrace your Africanness? Well, well the weird thing, well, being born, you know, half African, I've been to Africa plenty of times. Uh -huh. So I never had to sort of, you know, bring it into myself. It's always been there. Yes, I yes. actually speak well off and everything. Which do is the you? language, yeah, they speak a little wall off. Can you say how you do it in wall off? I don't know if I can say how you do it. But, um, like, the greeting is like, Nangadef, my, my father always says Nangadef to me, and the, you say, um, um, Magi Sirek. Which is, yeah, which is like, how are you? I'm doing good. Or Sawa, so, okay, uh, how are you doing is Sawa, Sawa. And you say, Sawa bien, so I'm doing good. Okay, so I'll be here. Well, congratulations, by the way. Gabby recently received the Shining Star Award at Dallas. <laughs> And, and, and that award was based on the, the Precious character again. Well, it was based on, I guess, uh, my two-month career. So it was based on Precious and Tower Heights and the Big C. And, you know, I have a very little, tiny, young acting career, and they gave me an award for it. Yeah, but in the short time, you've made big strides. I know what she's saying. Like, we've only known you for a few years, but in that few years, you really made a big impact on people. Speaking of big, everything is bigger in Texas. Did you <laughs> celebrate big? I did. All I wanted to do once I went there was I wanted to go gay line dancing. Because I feel like gay line dancing is much more interesting than regular line dancing. But I talked to my hairstylist of the weekend, and he told me about the gayborhood, which is the gay neighborhood. And, and he told me to go to a place called S4, and it was a big drag show. And so I went to a drag show. It was good. And you had the best time. I had the best time. It's really, okay, so like, it's a... Oh, there you are. Where? Ooh, I cannot believe, ooh, I did not know that there was a video until today. Because they were like, they were so amped. They were like, what do you want? Do you want to wear a costume? I was like, hell yeah, put me in a costume. Yes. <laughs> You're a fun girl, though. <laughs> I try. You're, you're a really fun girl. So then the last time that you were here, you were telling me um, you have the Fly Bachelorette pad here in Manhattan, and you were smushing with one of your gentleman callers. Like, like you, you, have a reg you had a regular, you know, dating and having fun. Are, are you still with him? What the, the funny thing is, <laughs> we broke up before that show even aired. Wow. <laughs> not, that, not that it was like a two-minute relationship. It was like a two-year relationship, but it ran its course. Things happen. Yeah. yeah. You're young. So how old are you, Gabby? Don't I'm great. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> actually, this Sunday is my birthday. And how old? And I'll be 47. Uh, I'm, I'm actually 29 this Sunday. Good for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I always think of you as being a lot younger than that. So now that you're, you know, the big 2-9 on Sunday, do you have a particular test that you put men through? Because you're thinking more seriously now about your relationships, I guess. A little bit. I will say that I'm in trouble. Stay away from me. But, but I do, like, for a guy that I'm interested in, I like I like boys. I should say, my mom's always telling me to say men instead of boys. So I like men that have imagination and are fun. And so I usually, if we go on a date, I make them hold my hand and wish I'm a star. And then I ask them what their wish is. And if their wish isn't imaginative enough, then I know that they're not that interesting. You're a tough date. I'm it's not that it's not that hard to come up with a good wish. <laughs> I also asked them what they would do if they had a time machine. Oh. And that's always a fun answer. I'd go back to the 70s because I love disco. What would you do? I would play with that's fine. I would play with my mom as a child. Good. Is that not fun? That's like my mom's perfect. adorable. <laughs> Hold that thought. More fun with Gabby. Listen, up next, we are going to do hairpiece theater. Gabby and I are between Sheree and Nini from Housewives of Atlanta Reunion. Don't miss it, it's gonna be good.